Hello, fellas. Frankie Day here. Okay, guys. Uh, we're just gorgeous, warm, sunny winter day, a uh, Sunday uh, here in Ohio land. Uh, this is video number three for my Airfix 172nd scale Armstrong Westworth Whitley bomber. Okay, guys, it's a long overdue video on here, so I got this thing right now all pre shaded, and I got the other side black all painted. And uh, with the black other side, my day I use different tones of black to bring a little bit of a weathering effect. I'll show you on the camera here. And uh, so the top side is going to be next. I'm going to use uh, Model Master Dark Earth. And Model Masters Dark Green I'll be using. And I've been thinking about, about using the word method right here. I've been, I've been watching a lot of videos, you know, just, uh, you know, an old dog like me has got to learn something once in a while, too, you know. And that's uh, what the hell, you know. Why don't you just dive in and experiment? So I got into other people's uh, videos, what they've done, and the very superb uh, jobs they've done on the aircraft, painting schedules using the word method. So I'm gonna go ahead and try try my hand with the worms on the uh, Whitley and see how it does. It gives it does get a sharper a sharper finish than than, than, than freehand, you know. But uh, but it's all good in the, in the art of modeling. It's it's all good, and the principle's the same in a way. Okay, guys, uh, I've been uh, farting around with uh, a couple of projects here and there, trying to finish up on. <laughs> I was working on a big old huge 133 scale uh p2v neptune patrol bomber and uh and i've been it's a paper model made out of paper and uh, i had to pay my dues to the paper modelers uh, dot com and they all wonder where frankie day's at and they all know i'm on youtube doing something in, in the world of plastic and they want to know how come I haven't been uh, building any paper models lately. So, well, Frankie Day said, what the hell I can do? I can kill two birds with one stone. So I'll just do a paper paper model bill thread on the papermodelers.com. And I'll go ahead and finish up and do all my plastic builds and paper models too. On here in YouTube land. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you this uh, P2B Deputy. I should have had it here. Right at my hand side, so I can show it to you guys. And uh, so it's over here behind my Glowmaster. So I'll give you got two seconds and a shake of uh, my thin, extra thin glue, and uh, I'll be right back with that Neptune. Oh, come here, you devil! Okay, guys, here I am. This thing is big, big, big. This is a P2B Neptune I'm working on. I've got the the uh, starboard engine done on her. And as you can see, this is a big airplane. Wingspan is about 42 inches long. Yeah, the paper, this is uh, not often modeled in, in the world of modeling, but this is a paper model. Of the of the P2V Neptune, and uh, you can see how how big this beast really is. It's a big airplane, and it's huge, and she needs to be uh, built. So I've been kind of farting around that for a while, guys, and uh, working on a Mariner too. So the Mariner is about ready. Uh, I've got the wing mounted on the Mariner, and uh, set that right there. Look, turn it over. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna work on a Mariner. It's behind me, so I got the, the middle wing all done. And it's all joints to the fuselage. I, I put together by using five minute epoxy, I used to join the center wing to the fuselage. And uh, I got some filler on there. I'll probably be a video of that next before I uh, I'll put the finishing colors on it. Okay guys, back to the Whitley of course. Okay, now this Whitley bomb is going together pretty well. And uh, I was making a, a decision if I should paint this thing all black, and uh, so as a, as a night bomber, or just go ahead and paint the standard RAF colors at the time, dark green and uh, dark earth over black. 
So as, as mentioned earlier in the video, I went ahead and pre, uh, did, did a lot of uh, uh, weathering on the on the other sides of the other Whitley, but used different tones of black by adding whites and blues. <coughs> okay, guys, uh, the canvas friendly. We'll swing over and take a look at the Whitley here. Okay, guys, this is it at the uh, pre-stage uh, at the pre-shade uh, stage, and. Um, And it's pretty it's going together pretty good pretty well and this is a very this is really a, a superb kit guys to say the least I did a lot of appreciating on it and uh, so at this pre stage pre uh, appreciating stage I'm ready to add the colors to it by using a model master dark green and bottle master dark earth which is my favorite colors that's kind of funny thing fellas using colors i can see why a lot of these models come up with um oh i ain't the right shade for this color this color it's this shade it's kind of funny and all different um and all different color schedules and shades of color by used by uh different companies their their shades are a lot different than other companies are so it's kind of hard to make a decision which is best so I stick with Model Master because it's pretty close to the Federal Color Starch. Humbros is good too, it's excellent. And uh, <coughs> the rest of them I'm not sure of though, but there's, there is some, some excellent quality paints out there which I don't know which I don't know yet. Here's MAP is one of them, and I wouldn't mind trying that paint, but they don't have it here in America, so it's got to be ordered online. Okay guys, so we're going to take this uh, Whitley Bomber, swing it and put it on her back, and I'll show you... Well, done with the black. Well, I'm appreciating it. During appreciating it, I went ahead and painted it black. I used different tones of uh, of white, and uh, I add a little bit of the, these blues here to the black, and uh, kind of tone it down a little bit. And it gives like a weathering effect, as you can see on here. I don't know how it picks up the camera good. You can vaguely see the the weather, which is very subtle underneath there. But the top side's going to see a coat of wash, and also associating as well. And uh, do this old girl some uh, some justice. I always liked the flying barn door. The Whitley was a very ancient airplane for a day, but that's all they had at the time. When Adolf, when Adolf Hitler had a serious weed up his rectum, he was uh, he ordered the Blitz and the Bat and also. Uh, during the Battle of Britain got underway and, and, the, and the English, they had a very smattering amount of aircraft at the time, what they had, they made, made use of and they did it very dearly. They, everything they, they, they had, they, they had to put their all into it to make that aircraft effective towards the war. And uh, of course, as war progressed, it's like us, we uh, went ahead and uh, started making better aircraft. But the Whitley probably came out back in 38 or 37, somewhere around there. And actually it was the uh, predecessor to the Halley bag, which is the Hamley Page Hall Halifax bomber. And, uh, and believe you me, this Whitley is a, is a pretty spacious aircraft. It can carry troops. It can carry everything. It has spacious bomb loads. It's got a, it's got two bomb bay doors, you know, and and, and a center of the fuselage. I don't know if it has any wing bays or not. It probably has wing, it does have bombs in the wings, uh, wing uh, bomb bays, wing bays you call them. And uh, so that's pretty ingenious. So this too was a very effective airplane, as old as an ancient as it was during even during the war, it was almost become obsolescent. But uh, when we are at war, you got to make use of what you've got until something better comes along. And they did with these here Whitley bombers. And they're a very beautiful airplane. they got one hell of a wing loading on these things. I mean, I was very surprised how wide the wings are in this thing. And I bet this thing had a very beautiful glide ratio, too, in case they came in for a dead stick landing or something. But, uh, but the Whitley here is a, is a very nice airplane. And I enjoyed working on it. And building it, and the Airfix made a and done a very wonderful job on this, on this kit here, producing it. 
and uh, it's a pretty good bust of a, of a kit to have for your collection. Now I've got a frog kit, which is the first Whitley that came out, and I can just to toy around. I kind of was comparing the uh, the overall perspective of the frog kit opposed to the uh, the new Airfix kit. It's, it's, it's two different kits, guys. Tell you the truth, uh, one's a lot more ancient than than the airplane itself, but. <coughs> but frog, uh, well, that's a good kit though. It's still, uh, it, it's still a good kit. And it's, it can be well modeled. Okay, guys, I got to go back over some black on this thing a little bit. I left a couple holidays here and there to be fetched up on, and I'm gonna go ahead and resume on the finished colors, which is gonna be next while this video is loading up. So uh, we'll take the camera back to yours truly and discuss what I'll be doing. Okay, here I am, guys. Okay, I've been messing around with that P2B Neptune too long, so now it's time to get back on the Whitley, and when this Whitley's drying, I'll hop back on the mirror and get that wing all, all uh, filled in and make a video before I start painting the, the, the final paint schedule on it. And I got a lot of work to do. I got a mass cockpits, ball turrets, dorsal turrets. I got to make floats with this thing. So there's a lot of work to do. So I'll be busy. So right now, I'm paying attention on this Whitley bomber. It's got to be done. So I want to get her done and final once for all and uh, I'll hop on a Mariner and then I'll get back on the Neptune and drag something else out of the out of the closet I can build here. Okay guys, that about does it right here for uh, Frankie Day for this gorgeous warm summer winter day we have out here. And uh, so uh, next video is going to be on the Mariner. I probably have that probably by tomorrow and, uh, and I've been thinking about turning two on that new Airfix 172nd scale B-17G Flying Fortress that just came out. <laughs> I went down to Smithy's Hobby Shop and seen a little rust down there and I bought another one of those kits. Another B-17's. The like, God darn Frank, these things are selling my cotcakes. I said, oh yeah, man, for the price of them, I can see why. And uh, so I can't wait to, uh, to get the Victor, the, the Hamley Page Victor to come in. So that'll be my next kid on the agenda. Okay, guys, it's time for you to sign off, get out of here right now, and uh, turn two back on the Whitley, get her done. And uh, so the next video will be tomorrow on the PBM Mariner Flying Boat, which is behind me. And uh, we'll get that fired up, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, guys, uh, make Mama happy. Happy modeling. Please subscribe. And uh, God bless you guys, and thank you very much for your very beautiful, candid co uh, comments. I'm very warm, uh, honored and warm to you. And that's a great day signing off. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, gentlemen.